Hello everyone and welcome back to the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We are 59 floors up the Shinra HQ building with our besties here. We are we have got very tired legs right now, but uh, we've also got a hell of a view. So that's something. Reactors at the edge. These are the things that we've blown up two of. And this looks pretty. This looks very pretty. Oh my god, hello, who are you? Can we talk to you? My wife and daughter be safe. I'm sure they're fine, man. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Why are we? Um. I just need no one's raising the alarm. Should I? What is going on here? So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. Uh -oh. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said it looked pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible but beautiful all the same. Well, at least he agrees. Okay, is there any any chests around here? Anything to find? What is Avalanche thinking so much? What are they even after? I guess they the people here don't realize who we are. <laughs> it's kind of odd. So we could go over there. Oh, here's the lifts. We don't need to use it, but I guess this is where we would have come out then. I don't know if I can work right now. Oh, a key card doesn't work up here. Fine. Guess we'll go press the button then. Updated to a visitor's pass. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. Oh, well, you I'm will pleased to hear that. In that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Probably. Huh. If it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. I'd be shocked if they didn't know exactly what, they're, what we're doing, because they've known exactly what we're doing, like, the entire time. Can I use this now? Sure can. So it's over there. Well, I think we we've, all these damn think we've searched that place pretty well. Anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Mimi. Until Avalanche is stopped, it's only gonna get worse. Okay, that's the way to go. Anywhere, anything else over this side? Quick check. Looking for chests. Any chests. Any chests. No. Okay. Man, this feels like such a completely different vibe to anywhere else we've been so far in the game, which is cool. Guess that's to go up another floor. No, onky dog, up we go. I won't, uh. <laughs> oh, it fades to black anyway. Yes. Every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. 
If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> he was Sorry the one that was you, sir. arguing no. against it, right? It's fine. I brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Who is that? Don't think that's someone we've seen before, a bald person. Six, 60th floor, Memorial Museum. Okay, that's where we're going. Anything else? Guessing... Nope. <laughs> Wait, can we not just yeet ourselves straight up to 61? Oh, I guess this is where we needed to be, right? President Shinra exhibit. Ugh. Welcome to the Shinra building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar, and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! Surprised they forgot to model the massive penis on his forehead. Did I say massive? I meant small. Well, this is weird. <laughs> I think I just threw up a little. Oh, is that the guy? I think that's the guy we just saw in the cutscene, right? I wonder who that is. Huh. What was this one? Don't know. This has got to be a trap, right? We're literally following glowing arrows that have been laid out for us. Hey, everybody! How's the grand tour? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Wasn't it fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! Is this going anywhere, or should I stop watching? Oh, that's the nice one at least. The one we love to see. Never seen that guy before. Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here. By giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed, because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. I'm so ready to be amazed. Fucking These amaze me. So familiar. Cause we've destroyed a bunch of them already. The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. That is very inconvenient. How dare you? Hello. What? What? Uh, read this? This paper right here? Uh, give me a moment. Palmer. Welcome to the Shinra building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. The search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. Uh, that being said, since we have plenty of Mako at the present, 
Those plans are currently on hold. It's a bit of a shame, really. Okie doke. Hello. <sighs> uh, welcome to Shinra Headquarters. My duties as Director of Research and Development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. Huh? So there will be no presentation, as it would be a waste of my time and yours. But rest assured, we are making great strides. <laughs> Be it not at this particular moment because I'm filming this rubbish instead. I believe I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one after all. So, good day. Lamau? Hmm. It's the crane arm. Hi, the public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Damn it. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure. The pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. That place looks cool. Where the fuck's Currently, that? Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgard. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. I wonder how he rose so high in this company when he's clearly a decent chap. Compared to everyone else who's a dickhead. That looks fucking awesome. Impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions. And the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. Pretty! Is this some kind of like promo video of them delivering energy to everyone kind of thing? I guess. I don't know if it's gonna lead now, anywhere. Moving along, the next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors, as well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like watching those. I'm sometimes not sure if they're going anywhere, but this they, is Midgar, they do. Our home, recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. So they're claiming it's limitless. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. The triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Interesting. I wonder what that's implying. What happened to his arm because he bought into their bullshit? Like he specifically looked at it when he said that. So it's obviously to do with it. Very interesting. Man, this, is, this section of the game is very different to anything that's come before. 
Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along! Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology! Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall! Okie doke! Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. Will do. Please stay and enjoy the show. The Cosmos Theatre. Oh, this is going to be cool, isn't it? This place is empty. What the hell? <laughs> Very cool. In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Oh, that's gorgeous. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. Once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Interesting. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. Feels bad. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. That was sick. Is that it? That was very fucking cool. Uh. The hologram cloud. <laughs> oh, what a fucking shot! Oh my god, this cutscene is amazing. Sephiroth. Oh dear. Oh dear. A man of my refined taste, running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea. Might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> uh, 
Who's that? No, it, it couldn't possibly have been. Crazy Who ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for huh? kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. They said a meteor wiped out the original world, like however many. It was a long time ago. I can't remember. It was multiple thousands of years. Oh, that was so sick. That was. Oh man, I'm I'm genuinely blown away by how gorgeous that cutscene was. Both the first half zooming through like the green areas because. I keep forgetting that, like, Midgar is not the world. Midgar is just a city on a huge planet that is probably, like... It, it's like com London. Like, setting a game in London, and then there's the entire rest of the Earth. Which we haven't seen any of. And I believe people have said that in the original you do eventually leave Midgar. But I'm pretty sure this remake is only in Midgar. So we're not going to see any of that this time. But I'm very interested to see like what other places in this world look like. Because that was that was really cool. I mean, they're presenting it in an incredibly idealistic view there. It's probably not as great as all that. But yeah, it's interesting. And then that second half with Sephiroth like zipping about. And it was originally it was originally a man in the black robes. That we've seen a few times. But then it turned into Sephiroth. And he just like killed all our friends. And then oh it was a gorgeous shot. With everything being destroyed. And us being back to back. Oh man. Stunning. Congratulations. You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert. Your mission is to go out and tell everyone. About the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? Hi. Uh, uh. Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm? Uh. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. Interesting. This might be my favorite section of the game. I'm loving this. <laughs> this is awesome. It's just so different. And it's very much story focused, which is what I'm all about, obviously. Love the story. <laughs> give me Look give me all place. the story. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? I mean, you'd have enough books here to last you a good few decades. <laughs> oh, secret, secret book. Secret passage in a bookshelf. It's a classic. Shouldn't make the book that obvious, though. It's so out of place amongst those others when everything else is ordered to a fault. That is how you get your secret room found. Parrot clomping around. Through here. If this is a trap, 
You're a dead man, you hear? Oh, got control. Is there anything else to see? The mayor is waiting. Nope, never mind. The mayor is waiting. Okay. Sup, mayor? Why did it give me control? Literally just so I could press triangle on the door and then put me in another cutscene. <laughs> oh, he's closing the door behind us, it seems. Oh, this mayor. This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <sighs> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. Ah, uh, that's the bald guy we saw. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the president's gonna get his too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up, you telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. <laughs> hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's <laughs> mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh. Lamau? Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? Got it. <laughs> what a strange character. If you I think like you him. You found the collaborator, say mayor, and see if he says the best. You got it now? Yeah, I got it, man. Cool. Cool. Okay, can't go behind his desk. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't appear so. Well, uh, be seeing you, my dude. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Mayor, the best. <laughs> Hi. If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So Cheeky can you tell chest us over there. About this collaborator. Certainly, I could do just that. 
But a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? Uh... I mean, I have the cash. So I guess... Let's hear what he has to say. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? Oh, you sick! Of my gratitude and appreciation. <laughs> That's better. Ha! <sighs> That's awesome. And it wasn't even like, oh my god. That's so easy to miss. I bet so many people walked out of that room and didn't bother to talk to this guy. And then it comes up that he wants 10k for information. I bet a lot more people at that point, even if they did talk to him, went, nah. And he has a fucking gun for Barrett on him? That's so cool. Oh my good god. It has four materia slots, but none of them are linked. It is a gun. 34 and 65. Huh. So it's magic focused by the looks of it. Point blank ability. Consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it does have four, but it means they're not linked. So he's got magnify healing and elemental lightning. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if we can upgrade it to have the links. Okay. He's got 10, 14, and 16. Oof. Well, you can get a bunch of materia slots. Critical hit rate, 10% boost. Interesting. Low HP stuff. Meh. Attack power. Magic attack power. Attack damage boost. Overcharge damage boost. Critical hit damage boost. Oh man, how much would all of this cost? How many are there? I kind of want them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 8. Jesus Christ. So that'd be 10 times 8, 80. 6 times 8, 48. So that'd be 128 to get all of the skills on there. Which would only leave, uh, like, two more from this category, if I was to do that. Hmm. Well, I guess we don't need to get the expensive material slots. We could get the cheap ones. Hmm. Attack power plus 10. Yes. Magic attack power plus 15. Yes. Max HP. Yes. Attack damage 5% boost. Yes. Overcharge damage 10% boost. Yes. Critical hit damage 10% boost. Yes. Then instead of that, we pop over here. Wait, that didn't link them? That just added a new one? Ah, oh, shit. What about this one? Will this link them? No, this adds another new one. Hmm. So, did these last two link them, perhaps? Oh, the last two link them. It's got to be done then. God damn it. Well, I fucked up. I definitely fucked up. Okay. 
God damn it. Oh, that's such a bummer. I don't want those extra two slots. I really wish I could have instead got... Uh, I, wonder, uh, I wonder if it's always those last two that link them. Or whether it's the first two you buy for the gun will add two more. And the second two you buy will link them. Whether I had to do it that way. Like regardless of which ones I picked it would have turned out like that. Or if I could have just done the two that linked it and not got the other two. Bummer. That is a bummer. Because hmm. another 10% critical hit rate and another 10% critical hit damage boost would have been great. And another critical hit rate 10% boost. Oh, man. Fuck. Fuck. I messed up. Definitely messed up. Oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, we were using Big Bertha with 73 attack, 40 magic. I imagine we'll go back to that once we're done with... The proficiency thing anyway, so it's probably fine. 4480. So we're doubling the magic damage, but taking away the physical. And the physical is what kind of matters more. Because we definitely want him to be able to get the most out of his long range bullets. So, eh. Let's uh, shove a couple of extra materia onto him then. What's he got down here? Time and ice. Uh... I mean, I guess we could level up the revival one more, but I mean, it's not going to get to 5,000 by the end of the game, so... Well... Can't remember if revival material gives people more life than a phoenix down. I guess let's put it on just to find out. <laughs> um, got barrier, binding, time. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using it for long. We could give him the first strike one. Sure. Why not? Why not? God, that's so much materia. Wow. Okay. Well, that is awesome. What a cool little fucking hidden secret. I was like, 10k? That's so steep. I almost didn't do it, but I'm very glad I did. What a sweet episode. I loved, I loved everything about this episode. This has been great. That, that a AR, augmented reality, whatever you'd call it, room. That makes it made it seem like we were flying about and everything. That was just the most gorgeous things we've seen in this game so far. My God, whoever whoever animated all that should be very very proud. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time when we continue to head up this Shinra building and see what there is to see up top. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.